ranking the best running backs in madden 24 we are back here with another gls update today we got a super interesting one today we're updating running back so right before we talk about the new cards gotta look at the old tier list real quick now in the last one we had a absolutely loaded s tier now i'm thinking a lot has changed because you're gonna notice we're gonna have a lot of cards moving up and down the reason for that is right what card came out that really changed like the offensive meta right it's aiden hutchinson on defense and for the most part these charge up x factor players really don't matter a ton now it's like if you don't get the pre-baked on x factor then in my opinion you're like a tier below but here's another interesting thing as well that i do want to talk about so today we're gonna to be talking about a lot of like baked on x factors as base abilities meaning aiden hutchinson can't counter them but i do think there is another counterpoint now where it's like okay cards like eric dickerson with just a loaded amount of abilities are now better than say the golden tickets because their x factors really don't matter so i hope that makes sense and and yeah, we're going to drop everyone besides William Perry and Trent Williams from this S tier into A. And now this is what the tier list is looking like before we get into the new cards. Now, first up right here, we had some cards I even debated on covering, but we're going to go over some 96 overall division dynasty cards. This is Patrick Ricard right here. He is a fullback with 93 speed. Obviously, that's not his game. It's the run blocking. It's the impact blocking. And for his abilities, right, does get honorary lineman for zero. So I think this is kind of like a utility player. I have pretty similar thoughts to him and Alex. Ingold. So I'm going to put him right by Alec Ingold. Now as a pure runner, there's a lot better cards than probably even F tier, but for what they can do, I'm going to put him C because again, like the honorary lineman and given the meta of the game. And after that, we get Zach Moss with 96 speed, 94 acceleration. And this time gets human joystick or tank for zero. In my opinion, those just really aren't like great abilities at this point. I'm going to put him in the F tier. And we also got Tony Pollard with 97 speed, 97 acceleration. And this time does get the evasive ability for zero. So I'm going to put him a tier higher than Zach Moss. I'm going to put him slightly in the D tier. Maybe could see him C by like Fred Taylor with that zero AP. Yeah, actually I lied. I'm going to put him C because I just think that zero AP uh, evasive ability is really, really nice right by Fred Taylor. Now after that, we get 97 overall Dree Archer with 99 speed, 99 acceleration. He's going to get zero AP basically everything. He's going to be an absolutely loaded running back with abilities. Now the issue on the card though is going to be his carrying rating. Now I use his zero chill card a ton and I really liked it didn't notice him fumbling a ton this is something at this point we got to be aware of right so in my opinion a or B for him. I think either or makes sense. I'm going to have him A tier just because of the abilities he can get, but I could see the argument for B if you're really worried about his carrying. Now we get some out of position ultimate legends. We get Derek Thomas at running back. Now he's 243. He is a big body, six foot three, 243, 96 speed, 97 acceleration, decent receiving stats as well with 85 catching, 85 short route running. And this time Derek Thomas gets a built on tank and he also gets evasive for zero. This is a pretty damn good running back card. Like. He is very, very solid for me. I think I'm going to put him a tier above Tony Pollard. Is B tier crazy for Derek Thomas? I really don't think so. I think he's better than everyone in C with that additional tank on top of it. Now we also get 97 Asante Samuel at running back with 97 speed, 98 acceleration. This time really good receiving back with that 93 short route running, 97 catching. Asante gets a baked on zero AP backfield master and he can also get the evasive for zero. So again, I'm a big fan of this card. I think it's like two separate styles though. I'm going to put him right by Derek Thomas. I think these two cards are a ton of fun. Now we get Kenneth Walker right here that starts out at a 94 and with upgrade token, to get him to a 97. Now he's 96 speed, 96 acceleration. I know a ton of people were really big fans of this 91 overall Kenneth Walker. And when we look at his abilities this time, right? He gets two uh, discounted buckets, evasive and tank for zero or evasive and human joystick or evasive and backfield master. I think it's two great zero AP abilities. And in my opinion, he's going to go right by Asante Samuel and Derek Thomas for me. I, I like this Kenneth Walker card. I think he's very solid in the game. And we also get 97 overall Kyron Williams with 96 speed, 97 acceleration. This time again, decent receiving stats. And Kyron Williams, though, the issue on this card is no discount ability. So even though the stats aren't that bad, I'm going to put him in the F tier. And now we go on our final run of theme team all-star guys that started at a 92 and with uh, some theme team all-star tokens can get up to a 99 overall. So Najee Harris with 97 speed, 99 acceleration. He is six foot two, 242. And pretty much the same exact story that we, we talked about with the other theme team all-stars when it comes to abilities so does get the charge up x factor and also gets two discounted buckets so you could 
go potentially a jukebox and a route tech. I'll be honest, I think Najee Harris out the bunch is my favorite theme team all-star running back. So I'm gonna put him like top into the theme team all-stars. I think he is a beast. And we also get Javante Williams right here. This time 97 speed, 99 acceleration. Once again, this time decent receiving stats as well. Gets the charge up X factor. And for his abilities, you could go potentially like say like a backfield master jukebox. So again, like some of that beats man or jukebox human joystick. Same exact thoughts as them and the other theme team all-stars. We're gonna keep this kind of quick. I'm gonna put all the theme team all-star guys right by each other. And we're just really going to go over the stats and ability combos I would run. J.K. Dobbins with 98 speed, 99 acceleration. This time, 85 catching as well. Same exact charge up X Factor. And this time can get Jukebox and Route Tech for zero if you want the man beating ability. So J.K. Dobbins going to be up here in this A tier for me. And we also get Alvin Kamara as well with that 98 speed, 98 acceleration. This time he is a beastly receiver. And once again, can get the Route Tech and the Jukebox comboed for a zero A P. So yeah, really like this Alvin Kamara, I would say out the bunch, okay? Najee Harris is my favorite, Alvin Kamara, second favorite, okay? And I, I really like Michael Penix as well, but I thought these two cards played like just unreal. All right, and we get another fullback right here. We get 99 overall Franco Harris with 96 speed, 95 acceleration. Honestly, the stats to me really don't matter, but he does get that quick juke animation. He's 230. The biggest thing on this card is he is yet again, another passive Vanguard player, meaning that momentum shift on Aiden Hutchinson, not gonna count counter him and other abilities he can get he can get like the jukebox he can get even freight train if you wanted it. he could get three baked on x factors if you wanted with the truss freight train and vanguard um i think for sure that he's more of a blocker and he's someone that you could potentially play a tight end as well he's an s tier player in the game now as a pure runner i also think he's s tier with say like jukebox tank and freight train if you wanted to use him like that but yeah i think franco harris one of the best cards in the game period and then after that we get sean alexander ultimate legend with 97 speed 98 excel 5 foot 11, 225, gonna get that quick juke, really good receiving stats across the board as well. And this time get the first one free for zero, which I wasn't a big fan of this on AP. I felt like it really didn't do a ton because first one free when we read the description, right? Some players thrive on making defenders look silly. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their next fake out on the next juke spin or hurdle. I think that'd be really nice if you already didn't fake out like 100% of uh, players with like jukebox or evasive, you know what I'm saying? So, and I also don't feel like it stacks or really changes anything but what else on this card is great so he gets the angry runs for one ap and you can go evasive for zero i love that combo right there i think sean alexander with that is an s tier running back he gets the baked on uh, x factor it really him versus the fullback cards is like tough i still think perry is the glitchiest card in the game given his like weight and what he can do so i would probably say perry is like running back one right now and sean alexander i think he has an argument though just really depends on play style and just your preference or running back i think we would both agree that they're top end though and we also get walter payton right here with 98 speed 98 acceleration he is 5 foot 10 200 pounds again really good receiving stats now he i think is the contrast to say william perry he gets the tank built on for zero ap gets angry runs and evasive for zero i wouldn't really run the route tech for one i just don't want to spend ap on that but angry runs evasive and also tank for one ap i think walter payton if you don't have william perry as running back one i think you likely have walter payton as running back one so again he's top into this s tier for me i could see arguments either which way and now we get some golden ticket guys we get aj dylan right here with 99 speed 99 acceleration he is six foot 247 so just slightly over that quick juke animation but decent receiving stats as well this time does get the charge up x factor to me really doesn't matter though uh abilities gets freight train for zero and you could even go like say like a route tech or like a bruiser and evasive for one i don't think you need to spend ap on this card i think again this is a different style of running back like he's different than sean alexander he's different than walter payton a little bit more similar to Perry I would probably place him right here and again these fullback cards it's like tough to, to say where they rank like I mean they are like two completely different style of players like they're vanguard players these are the cards that make these cards look even better you know what I'm saying so yeah AJ Dillon again I think he's a top and running back with that built on freight train and we also get Marshawn Lynch right here with 99 speed 98 acceleration 5 foot 11 215 and this time 99 short route running and once again charge up x factor abilities on the card same exact thing as uh uh, what's it called um aj dylan for the most part i would go freight train and evasive i get the trust might be a little bit like tempting but freight train and evasive is what i would run and for me marshawn with that stack gets the quick juke i'd probably i could see arguments for where this card ranks too i think it's all just preference with the top and running backs like you could say oh like marshawn better than you know what i'm saying like i don't hate those takes and now after that we get brandon jacobs right here 97 speed 98 acceleration he is six foot four 
264. And this time, not really a receiver. This is a big body running back, and he does get the charge up X Factor tank built on for zero AP, and then gets a ton of zero AP ability. So you could go like, say, like Human Joystick, Grab and Go, Jukebox, Bulldozer if you wanted it. I would recommend doing the Route Tech. I would probably go, say, Route Tech, Evasive, and like Human Joystick. Say you want Human Joystick, Bruiser, Route Tech. Like, I don't hate that because he can't go get the Quick Juke, but Evasive still does a good job of sunning out defenders even without that. So for me, Brandon Jacobs, this was a tough one. He's one of my favorite running backs in it. Like him and Eric Dickerson, I could even see the argument for S tier for him and I don't hate it. And now we get some super interesting cards as well. We get Jamal Charles right here, 99 overall with 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Like the physical stats out of this world, five foot 11, 199, also a beastly receiver. So this is a card that I think kind of got better because of Aiden Hutchinson. Let me explain. So the charge up X Factor players are all kind of like, eh, anyway, you know what I'm saying? But this card gets everything for zero AP. So we can get a first one free, which if this is just like a freight train or like an angry runs, like this is probably the best running back in the game, undebatable, but you can get like say energizer or reach for it for zero. If you want like a stamina ability or reach for it, of course, uh, this is the one bucket. He doesn't get zero, but you can go so many different combos on him. Like you could throw like a grab and go a, a backfield mismatch, a route tech. You could throw evasive on him. You could throw human joystick. You know what I'm saying? Like just so many zero AP abilities on this Jamal Charles that in my opinion, I think he's going to slightly make S tier for me because like I said earlier in the video, right? I think there's even an argument that you might have Jamal Charles right here. And the re you could even have Eric Dickerson, Brandon Jacobs higher. The reason for that is secure tacklers, tackle supreme. They're going to counter the freight train, the anchor runs anyway. They're not going to break the first tackle. So I don't hate this take at all. Just the sheer amount of abilities he gets, I think he's deserving of S tier. And where you have him ranked is really just based on your preference. And then right after that, we get a very similar card, Arian Foster, 99 overall with 98 speed 99 acceleration and this time 90 short route running on him and for his abilities pretty similar to jamal charles and the fact that charge up x factor and then like everything for zero ap so literally can i just copy and paste my thoughts on jamal charles because i think the same exact thing um arian foster is going right by jamal charles for me and yeah boys this is my updated uh running back tier list in madden 24 ultimate team uh let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments let me know what you agree with what you disagree with who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, though, you enjoy content like this, want to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 24, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these running backs live on stream, I stream almost every single day here on YouTube and Twitch, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern to watch on the YouTube side of things. Make sure to hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with the follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here because I rank the best quarterbacks in Madden 24.